Hello and welcome to my painting video. In this video I'll be painting a Palanite Enforcer from Necromunda. They are awesome looking models. I was happy with the Games Workshop color scheme, so I tried to get as close as possible to that. Let's begin! As you can see here, I primed the model with a grey primer. I used the Army Painter Uniform Grey. Unfortunately the cam was very old and dried up, so the primer is very rough and coarse. Nonetheless, the color works very well for my color scheme. Let's start with the black undersuit. I'm using the black Templar contrast paint. One layer is enough to create a good base coat and a bit of shading. Make sure to catch the color hidden underneath the helmet and the inside of the lower arms. The first highlight is standard Mechanicus Grey. Just look for all the raised areas and make the highlight a bit thick. The final highlight is Administratum Grey. Oops, I overloaded my brush. I'll fix this later. Go over all the previous highlights and make sure it's nice and thin. With the undersuit done, it's time to start on the blue armor. For the armor, I will also start with a contrast paint, Leviathan Blue. It looks very dark, but this will be nicely offset with the yellow armor. I'll be using three colors for the highlights. The first highlight is Thunderhawk Blue. I just trace all the edges of the armor. The second highlight is Hoeth Blue. Make this one a bit thinner than the last one. And finally there is Ferenzian Grey. This highlight is just a thin line on the edges where the light hits. The bars on the shoulders and boots are not highlighted but have a layer of each color in decreasing order as you can see here. For my next step I'm going to base coat all the parts that will be yellow armor and leather with Wraithbone. This will make sure the contrast paints will pop more. For the yellow base coat I use the contrast paint Yenden Yellow. One coat should be enough but I use extra coats to even out the color where needed. The first highlight will be Yurio Yellow. Just make these highlights nice and thick. This is followed by a highlight of Yushapti Bone. This is a thin edge highlight. I want the lenses and the other light sources to be brighter. So I make sure the whole section is Yushapti Bone and has a single dot of white scar. I already base coated the leather parts with the wraith bone. Now I will base them with Wildwood Contrast Paint. Again, one coat should be enough. There is only one highlight, Baneblade Brown. As most leather parts are hidden, I want to keep it simple. And we're almost done. The final parts that need to be painted are all of the metal. Everything will be base coated with Lead Belcher. Also the base. On the base, several parts will be layered with Balthazar Gold to create some bronze panels. Next, I'll apply a wash of Strong Ink or Agrax Earthshade. Both will work fine. Lastly, I'll highlight everything with Stormhost Silver. As a finishing touch, I'm going to paint a couple of the floor panels with hazard lines. These work really well with the yellow that is already being used on the armor. Because I'm using a contrast paint, I will start with a Wraithbone base coat. Next is the Yanden Yellow contrast paint, just like the yellow armor. Finally, I will paint on the hazard lines using Black Templar contrast paint. It can be tricky to make straight lines. Because it's a walkway, you can add some typhus corrosion to dirty it up. This could also cover up any mistakes. And finally, I look over the model to check if anything needs cleaning up. There are also a couple of small tubes on the back and helmet, which are easier to paint after everything is finished. And here is a Pelanite Enforcer ready to get killed in the line of duty. I mean to dispense some justice in the Underhive. This was my first time trying out the new contrast paints. I am very enthusiastic about the result and I plan to continue using them. Thanks for watching.